the, this is a peak week. I'm copying this off Greg Uzet and following what he does on his peak week to see what it's like. And all he does is he takes out his carbs for that week until the day before. And then he has a lot of sugary stuff, you know, like cheat stuff, basically eating fats and protein for the next three days. So for the next three days, all I'll be doing is eating meat and salad -y sort of stuff, stuff that's low in carbs. I'm not having zero, I'm not having zero carbs, I'm having a few carbs, but you know, basically stuff that's low in carbs. And then when it comes to sh the show day, I wanna bump it all up and explode for the actual performance. I mean, I'm gonna be drinking over three, four, three to four liters a day. So I'm gonna be filling up and going to the toilet a lot. So what I'm having is three rashes of bacon and two eggs whole, and that'd be my first meal. I've had a coffee as well, which is allowed. So after this, I will be going to train. I'm gonna be doing some more resistance band workouts because if you haven't watched the last video, it's gone massive. Check it out there. Go and check it out, it's brilliant. And I'll be doing another one very soon where it will be even more exercising. If you was wondering what I was doing then, yeah, I was doing my last video. Um, I'm doing a lot of resistance band workouts because I've only got small weights. I've got 20 kg max on weight, so I'm doing a lot of resistance working um, with the body because it's gonna make me feel like I'm actually working the muscles a bit more. I am gonna do some different sort of workouts with using resistance bands and the weights but they're for videos to come up in the future, in the next couple of weeks. But more about what my diet is gonna be like. At the moment, I'm gonna be hitting roughly about 2,000 calories a day. Yes, that's it. And I'm, like I said before, no carbs, or very, very minimum carbs for at least four days. Friday and Saturday, then I change things up. Um, as Greg said, he, on the, on, the, on, the show, on the day before the show, he'll have a few treats and then on the Saturday, he'll eat a few more treats, you know, because he wants to get that fats in, he wants to get the carbs in, um, he wants to get the fats and that in because he wants the, the muscles to pop out more. Obviously, drinking a lot of water as well and then when it comes down to the show day, well, the make, the homemade show day, will be no water at all i'll be drying myself up and yeah well, that will be it so now i'm going to show you what my physique is at the moment right it is nothing this is what it, this is what my physique looked like eight weeks out down in the comments below if you can see any difference i actually know i do not look as nowhere near as good as the picture and but obviously i have had almost eight weeks out now and been eating quite what I want to, not tracking my calories, you know, not been working out, nothing like I have been. I am doing a lot of body weight exercises and obviously resistance bands. So here is my physique.
Oh. Oh, I haven't done that for a long time. God, it takes it out of you. But there is my current physique. And it's holding up at the moment. It is holding up. As you see, um, the weight of me at the moment, I am actually 170 pounds, which so eight weeks ago, my lowest weighing was about 162-ish. So I've put on eight pounds. Eating what I want, not training, not doing much exercise. Of course, I wasn't working a lot of the time because I, I got furloughed for three weeks. Um, so I wasn't doing any exercise at all, only just like a little walk. I wasn't doing my 10,000 steps. So I wasn't doing a lot of exercise. This week I will be going on the treadmill and doing at least 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes cardio in some sort of way, um, just to burn off a few more calories. I'll join you back tomorrow with some more workouts. So I'll see you tomorrow. just finished another video for my resistance band workouts go and check them out when you've watched this video all the resistance band workouts will be on the end links go and check them out if you're struggling to find workouts to do I've got hundred a hundred different sorts of workouts exercises you can do with a resistance band also I'm doing it with weights and dumbbells so if you've got resistance bands and the weights are not heavy enough combine them together it will make their weights heavier but today I weighed in one pound lighter so I'm now 169 pounds so I've lost a pound in a day so what I'm trying to do is trying to get to the weight I was before or very near obviously I don't think I will look at, I don't think I will look as toned um, because obviously I'm not working out as hard as I did when I was um, on prep At the moment this extra eight pounds I know it's body fat it's not muscle because obviously I haven't been training hard enough, you know, I haven't been got the weights to train hard enough to um, put on eight pounds of muscle and there's no way you can put eight pounds of muscle on in about eight weeks. It's virtually impossible. Um, so yeah, I've just finished my workout. It is now about four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm intimate fasting. I am not eating until 12 o'clock. I'm having my breakfast first, which you saw yesterday, and then I'll have a shake. And then what I'll do is I'll have chicken and veg. That's it, no carbs. The only carbs I'm having in the day is I'm having two rice cakes with some peanut butter on. Um, I'm trying to hit my protein levels around 200, and the rest is gonna be fats about 60, 70, and then carbs is gonna be at least no more than 30 to 40 carbs in a day and that is really low obviously because i'm not doing heavy with heavy sets on the gym anymore because i'm at home and i've got restriction bands which are very easy um i don't need the carbs to fuel me up for a big massive um, workout at the gym the fats will just provide that for me so you don't have to always have carbs to um, fuel your um, workouts, you can use fats. Just help, just make sure it's healthy fats. You know, peanut butter is a healthy fat. Anything w which is fatty is not necessarily bad for you. So just, it's the saturated parts which are the bad part. You know, they're the things that cling onto your stomach and put that layer of fat over all your muscles so they don't pop out as much. That's why people can't get six packs. They have got six packs, but they've got so much saturated fat layers over their stomach that they need to stop eating the junk food which is why you can't see abs if you get me anyway i've done my workout like i say go and check them out obviously subscribe and like this video but what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be telling you what i'm actually going to be planning for saturday i don't know if i'm going to do it live yet this video is going to be coming out tonight and 
then I'm going to do another one on Friday which is going to come out. Wednesday's video, Thursday video and Friday video will be all together and then Saturday I don't know if I'm going to do it live. Um, let me know in the comment section because obviously if I do it live it's a live performance or do it Saturday and then release it on Sunday you know I'm not gonna I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it in, in the, the other video when it's more near the time um, and on the Friday video I'm gonna tell you the weight why I'm hitting at but I'm not gonna show you my body you know you've seen my physique at the moment and that's what it looks like I want I don't want to show you on Wednesday and then show you on Saturday because there won't be no difference between it so I'm gonna go now eat my next meal which is just chicken 200 grams of chicken and about 80 grams of veg you know I'm not really because I'm not eating till 12 because I'm not working as well because I'm off I'm not actually getting up till about 11 so it's quite easy um, yeah and that's what I'm doing at the moment so I'm not really feeling hungry at the moment because I haven't eaten chicken and protein shakes and stuff like that my body's starting to adjust to them again so it's actually making me quite full so the veggies are help helping as well because obviously the more veg I can have as much veg as I want because it's gonna be like less than 100 calories but like I said I'm eating just under 2,000 calories you know I'm not hitting it all the time sometimes it'll be low it might be 1,800 because I want to try and strip off as much weight as possible I don't suggest to do this in real life you know I don't suggest to actually do a drastic diet like this you know only if you're like going away like next week on a holiday and you just want to trim up a bit or tone up a little bit yes do it but this is not sustainable you cannot live or eat on 1800 calories a day because you'll just be exhausted obviously if I was at work I'd eat a bit more because I'm burning off a bit more um, I'm doing about 5,000 steps at the moment um, so I'm just having a walk and then walking around the house and I'm gonna start doing some more exercises on the treadmill um, I didn't do any yesterday because I, I was feeling tired I did go to bed like early well 12 o'clock which is early to me and yeah so I'm gonna probably do a bit more of that tonight and yeah I will see you on Friday with another video and I will show you I will see, I'll tell you the way in I'll, obviously I'll tell you obviously you'll have Wednesdays Thursdays and Fridays video in that video so stay safe hopefully gyms will be back open at the end of July yes. but make sure you join me on Friday and definitely on Saturday because I'm going to be showing off my men's physique you know pretend mock up of what I would be doing now at Body Power also stay tuned all over this week because I'm doing more videos I'm doing more resistant band workouts there's one coming out as well today so it's two videos today for the price of one also I'm probably going to be doing a Body Power sort of video you know because obviously we was, we're not going to it and just talking about Body Power you know how it affects people you know how people are feeling um, when it's back on you know if people don't know and if it is going to come back on and am I going to compete at that body power um, I'm going to tell you more about that that's going to probably be either tomorrow or the next day so stay tuned anyway I'm waffling on stay safe remember to subscribe remember to like me and I will see you next time go, let's go.